Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne, First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. You know, God's economy is different than ours. You know, it, it seemingly, it's, it's, we live in a consumption type of, of, of economy. The, uh, everything's kind of built on advertising, making ourselves discontent, uh, being greedy, being narcissistic. But in God's economy, it's, it's different. The Bible is very clear about what we sow is what we reap. It's the person who goes out and, and sows um, seeds, let's say uh, corn, you know, he reaps more than the seeds that he puts in the ground, does he not? And uh, the same is true for watermelons, the same is true for tomatoes, and the same is true in life itself. It says in Proverbs 22, verse 9, He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. He says that those who, are, uh, who, con who concern themselves with the needs of others are the ones who are, who, who are blessed of God. Um, that idea of being generous and helping others in need. And you and I are called to be that way, to be generous. No, I mean, to be, we are to be mindful and, and discernment, discerning and, and um, being careful uh, where our monies go. But in truth, you and I, if we see a brother or sister in Christ, we see a family member in need and we have the means by which to do something about it or even uh, participate in the alleviating that need you know we we should we should be willing to do so i'm thankful i married a very giving wife a very um she has a great heart for for serving for making meals for those in need for um uh, buying uh, christmas presents for those uh, families who wouldn't normally have christmas and um we brought people into our home that were in desperate straits and certainly with foster care and and uh, parent, uh, people who are running away from abusive spouses and that sort of thing. Uh, we've, we've always been that way. It was in my heart and it's been in her heart uh, long before we even met each other. It's just who we are and, and I found it true. We may not have everything that we want and, and I'm sure that's true of you, but we have everything that we need and I look around at the house that we live in, the vehicles we drive, and and I just thank, marvel at, at even in the midst of generosity and giving such a huge portion of our income to the Lord, and uh, or to other uh, those in need that uh, we God has blessed us beyond what either of us deserve. He is such a giving God. He says, "He that is a bountiful, I shall be blessed." You know, you can't outgive God. You can't outgive God. God knows what you give and what you're capable of giving and what you give. And uh, we should be open to help those who are in legitimate need. And and not so much that they understand what um, you know the sacrifice we're making, but we do it as unto the Lord. My wife um, uh, found out a need of someone in the in in at her workplace who she's trying to minister to she's trying to reach with the gospel of Jesus Christ and they had a legitimate need they had had some downturn in their in their family and they were concerned about certain things and and uh, not that we have much to spare because we don't but we gave and in, in the name of the Lord and she's she I remember her giving this this person this and say this is from Jesus this is from Jesus and you know God uh, we, we don't worry about that stuff because we know that uh, number one we're being a blessing but number two it, it'll eventually come back to us God knows you can't out give God and God owes no one anything and he knows exactly what we need and he'll provide for us um, as he sees fit as he always has and he's uh, I believe as he always will he says, the bountiful eye, those who are generous, shall be blessed. For he that giveth this bread to the poor, helping those who are in need. Has God placed somebody in your life that need help? That, um, you know, that you are in a position to help, to buy some groceries for, to um, look around the church today. And maybe there's a widow woman who 
who just needs a blessing. You know, she, she's living on a fixed income and she needs to get her hair done. And you have the means by which to give her a gift card or to give her some money and that would help her along the way. To be a blessing to them. Uh, we do to them as we would want somebody to do for our our, our spouse if, if something happened to us or, or our parents or whatever else. And just to be a blessing to others. Seek to be the blessing in life and you will be rich in the kingdom of God, I believe. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.